Welcome back once again. In this video, we'll talk about present perfect progressive. First, how do you form present perfect progressive? Well, we use has or have plus been plus the present participle. That's the ing form of the verb. So we have the subject and then has or have been and then the present participle. For example, Jane has been running all day or we have been swimming since 10 in the morning. For negatives, we insert ha uh, <clears throat> excuse me, for negatives, we insert not between has or have and been. Notice that been and present participle always stay together. We don't put things between been and the present participle. For example, you have not been finishing your homework on time, or Justin has not been exercising these days. For questions, we move has or have to the front of the question, and that makes the subject go between has or have and been. Once again, been and the present participle stick together. We don't put anything between them. For example, has Neil been smoking cigarettes again? Or have you been watching my videos? What about the meaning? We use present perfect progressive to describe states and events that two things began before another point in time and they will not continue forever. So they started prior to the present, that's the perfect, and they're temporary, that's the progressive, okay? For example, they have been working hard on a special project. It means they started sometime in the past and it's ongoing, but it will probably end. It's temporary, it can change. Present perfect progressive describes situations or habits that began in the past and continue in the present and possibly into the future. For example, I've been learning English for a year and maybe I will continue learning English. Or James has been dating Alicia and it's going so great they might even get married. Present perfect progressive describes actions in progress that are not completed. For example, I've been reading a very interesting book. I'm almost done with it. Or the turkey has been cooking in the oven for two hours, but we're not ready to eat it yet. It's not done yet. Present perfect progressive describes situations that change over time. Like they started in the past and they keep on changing. My son has been getting taller and taller over time. Or my dog has been getting smarter since we started taking those training classes together. That's it for present perfect progressive. It's not a very common tense in English, but it's important to know it for when you hear it and when you read it. One more video to go. See you then.